Jolin and I got down the road about 10 minutes and uh, last night we had a bit of an ice cream frenzy and Dave recommended an ice cream place to go to. Jolin got a bit excited and got a triple and then the cone kind of broke so we had to get a cup to put it in. And we got this kind of chocolate peanut butter frappe. Yeah, from so Olympic Mountain ice cream and it's incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Pumpkin cheesecake is the bomb. We've got to get to uh, a place called Port Angeles to meet Lonnie. Just stocked up with some supplies. It's your Apple. sugar though, just basically. Just sugar, <laughs> really bad. Keep us going. Can we just cross here? What do you think? We're not sure about jaywalking in the States. No one seems to do it, so we're trying to, you know, when in Rome. We're not in Rome though. We're going to get back in the car and get ourselves two hours down this road. How are you feeling? The cameras and stories maybe don't do it justice. Yesterday, the kind of exhilaration of meeting people who still speak the same language, but the culture and the upbringing is so different. The way people share everything and how they're welcoming it into, into the home. So much to learn from it. A real appreciation of what's around you. A lot of these people seem to, to have that mentality of it, live off the land, just more than I ever imagined. Okay everyone, let the adventures commence. We've just turned up from somewhere close to Port Angeles on what looks like kind of some land with some like trailers and some some like shack built things and there's yeah apparently there's some couch surfers here so again oh, here we go that's the guy it's gotta be him sweet I think we're in business with an amazing puppy right go on Jolene you go and say hello Okay, it's getting late now. We've had a lovely evening. As we arrived, we met our couch surfing host, Lonnie. And also, there's a few other couch surfers here as well. We've also met Connor from Florida and Andreas from Italy, two top guys. And we're staying in a lovely little cabin that Lonnie built himself. But I'll show you that in the morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is October the 4th. We've had a bit of a lazy morning. We're at our new accommodation, a bit more couch surfing, which we're very happy with indeed. We're staying in a little cabin, absolutely free of charge, on some land that Lonnie owns. He's built most of this himself. We're going to stick around another night because they've kindly said that we can, which is absolutely brilliant. Today we're just having a bit of a lazy day, making a few more plans. We've been doing some jobs around the place here just to help out, as well as doing a bit of cleaning, and we've eaten as well. Yeah, hopefully we might have a bit of a drive a bit later on. Getting in the car. Jolene and I finally got ourselves out for a couple of hours, did a bit of shopping at Walmart, ready for our trek to the Ho Rainforest tomorrow. But we just had a drive up the um, Olympic National Park. I tell you what, this is absolutely amazing. I guess we're starting to take mountains and trees for granted, but have a look at this. We're on our way, hopefully, up to that ridge where the, uh, the cloud is at the moment. Hurricane Ridge. Hopefully there's not a hurricane up there. It's pretty chilly up here. We've just made it up to Hurricane Ridge. Uh, there's no hurricane, but it's definitely blowing a bit of a hooli. Jolene's just done a quality time lapse as well. We've been out here for about 10 minutes and we've got numb hands. Jolene? Icicle hands. Oh. I didn't ask you to do that, did I? <laughs> it's very cold, but very pretty. And we saw a deer really close up. That was really cool. We came up to the car. Just driving down from the Olympic National Park, but check out some of these babies. They're absolutely brilliant. Okay, everyone, 
It's really, really late. Johnny's gone to sleep. I don't want to wake up with my loud voice. I'll back about quarter past seven. We all cook some pizza together. We spent some time with Connor and Andreas chatting around the campfire, which was awesome. We were sharing our travelling stories and making each other laugh with all our couch surfing experiences so far. So it was a really wonderful evening. Thanks to those guys. We're going to miss them. Anyway, tomorrow we've got a long day ahead of us. We've got two hour drive to the home lane forest and then we'll be driving back to Seattle over about four hours, uh, ready to get off flight the next morning. So it's time to sign off the vlog now. Sorry we didn't take the camera out with us tonight, but sometimes you're too busy having fun to do a lot of filming. But it's something we're going to try and do more in the future. 